Okay, so welcome to the episode today. Today I'm going to be doing a little tutorial episode, so if you're not a filmmaker and or a vlogger, this episode might not be that exciting for you, therefore you can skip this episode and watch tomorrow's episode, or watch yesterday's episode, or watch another episode, or watch another vlog. But, uh, this episode I'm going to teach you how I vlog. That, that's the plan. Okay. Alright, so, sorry today is like not the most beautiful day to do this tutorial, but, um, you know, I... Before we get into the tutorial, let me, uh, let me tell you kind of why I'm doing this tutorial. Well, one of the reasons why I'm doing this tutorial is while I went ATVing for uh, hitting a thousand subscribers. Um, well, while I went ATVing, there was a family that was there, and, um... They, they were like, oh, we love to watch your vlog, like, do you have a card? I gave them my card, um, and then uh, about a day or so later, I get a text from the father saying that his son now watches these vlogs. Hello. Um, and how he, he's really interested in becoming a filmmaker, which makes me so excited that somebody saw what I was doing and wants to become a filmmaker. So this tutorial is specifically for you. I'm sorry if you get your name, but specifically for you. Um, if you want to learn how to vlog, this might be a good like intro level tutorial episode. Okay, step one. This is uh, not a really good mirror to use, but it's all about the story. The equipment doesn't matter. You literally could film, you really could film your whole episode off an iPhone. Again, the equipment doesn't matter. The story matters. So that's like, st that's like step one kind of thing. It's just don't worry about the equipment, worry about the story. And then a step two is once you have your story, you don't have to film it in order. You just have to film the story. Because when you edit this, when you edit this, it doesn't matter if you filmed it in order or out of order. When you edit, it'll all cohesively work together as long as you edit in order. Okay. Step three, do some dynamic shots. Bring some like emotion into your in, in your footage. Um, like if I do this, like just walking into the frame and then talking while you're walking into the frame and sitting down, that brings like dynamic into the shot. So even though you didn't see me walk out, turn around, walk back in, that still brings dynamic into the shot. And that's like step number three. That's like a big, big tip I could give you. Um, so dynamic in your shot. And then, uh, also, if you can do some cool, oh, come on. If you can do some cool time lapses, that's a bonus, too. Like, that's, like, four. I, I love good time lapses. Okay, and also, like, you're going to look funny talking to a camera out in public or whatever. You know, even in your own house, around your family, like, it feels weird. But you're going to have to get used to that because the more you get used to that, the more you, like, tune out the outside world and focus on you and the camera, um, the more people will kind of just accept it. Um, for me, uh, I just kind of started doing it. I mean, I was filming my whole life, but I just started filming myself a little more. And uh, people now just want to be in my vlog, so just tune out the outside world. To add on to like dynamic shots, don't just stay still. I walk around. Have you noticed I've been walking around a lot during these, like just talking? Because it brings dynamic into it. It doesn't seem as boring. You could be talking for five minutes at a time, and even if you're just walking around, it seems more compelling. So if I'm just doing this, you see, you're already getting tired just watching this. Now watch this. So you always want to be walking in your shots because that will constantly like, it, it brings more dynamic into the background for the viewer because if you if I were just standing still, it's not as exciting to watch. This really brings dynamic into the background. You see, I've been talking now for a little bit, um, but the more that I'm talking and the more I'm just kind of walking in circles in the driveway, but doing that, you, you feel more compelled to watch because there's something moving in the background. It's not static. Um, and I've been talking for a little bit and you're not getting as tired of it. Uh, that's another tip. And then another one is you could do like montages where like, watch this. That was a really simple one, but you can do more complex ones. You're stringing two shots together to make one big cohesive shot. It's a really big one as well. See how I'm walking? It's pretty good, huh? 
Um, anyways, uh, and then another thing is like just have fun with it. Like you're gonna you're gonna mess up, but that's fine because then you learn from that from messing up. Um, and even like even like doing like even if the camera's not sp square on like this, that's fine. This is also fine because it's a vlog. It's meant to m mean like you just grab a camera, just start going throughout your day, uh, or start telling your story. So again, it's all about how you want your vlog to look. This is how I want my vlog to look. How do you want your vlog to look? Um, a big, a big, another big piece of advice I could give. Like, imitation is a, a big form of flattery, but don't imitate to be a copycat. You can pull from different, like, this vlog is pulled from a lot of different creators, and some of them are friends of mine. Um, so, that, that's another really big thing, is don't imitate, just use parts that you like. Okay, another thing is like, ah, uh, the monitor is flipped out on the camera. See? See? The monitor is flipped out. But I don't look at the monitor, I look right at the lens. I look right at the lens, because that's who, that's where you guys are. You're not at the monitor. If I look over here, I'm looking at myself, my eye line's off. Look at you, look at the person that you're talking to, not the monitor, the person next to you. That's another big tip. And then this is another big tip. You always want to clean the lens of your camera because if you haven't noticed for the beginning let's see if it works ready for the uh, for the beginning part of these this vlog you saw the little dot that was floating around on one side of my face or another it should have gone away now Okay, my last and final suggestion uh, to start vlogging is do it for you. Like, don't do it to look cool, don't do it to fit in, don't do it for somebody else. Do it for you. It's that creative bug in you. Um, the second you do it for somebody else, I mean, in terms of like trying to get friends or whatever, it's not going to work out. So do it for you. I do it for me. I don't care about how many subscribers I have. I don't care about how many views I get. Um, I'm just kind of doing it for fun for me. And now that I have a thousand subscribers, like I'm still doing it for me. I'm still doing it for fun. I mean, I do celebrate the subscribers because it, it you know, I have to give something back to them. But I do it for me. I do it because I want to be creative on my time, on my watch, um, and how I want to be creative. I don't want to have. Uh, a boss tell me, I mean, I'm my own boss, but I don't want to have someone tell me how it should look or whatever, so I dictate the vlogs, not my company, not my business. I dictate the vlogs, but it's also for me. So that, that's the last biggest thing is do it for you. It's your bug, don't itch anybody else's. It has to be yours. It has to be purely you. The second you're imitating somebody else, the second you're trying to be something else that you're not, it people see right through that. So um, that's my last and final like, biggest piece of advice of vlogging. So I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, to you, uh, kid out there who I met, ATV and who I forget your name. I'm sorry, I forget your name. Thank you very much for watching. Um, but I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Swimming naked in the ocean while the sky was falling open Hoping you would f*** me on the beach on my backseat Listening to rap, so fancy And every time you leave